guys, Steven with another video, and today I'm going to show you four different ab exercises that are way better than sit-ups and crunches, and will definitely give you aesthetic abs if you do them nearly every day, or every day if you would like. So, let's get started. So, the first exercise I'm going to show you is the leg lift. So, how you do this, you lay flat on the ground, keep your legs straight, and then you lift them off the ground. But to keep more stability, you can put your hands in your butt too. And then you want your legs six inches above the ground. And then you go up to about three feet and then you go down. That's one repetition. So it's going to be like this. And then this exercise works your lower abs and it keeps them uh, tightened during, throughout the whole exercise until you uh, put your legs down. The next exercise I'm going to show you is Russian twist. So Russian twist, it also uh, involves you uh, keeping your legs and feet off the ground. So you keep them straight and then you want to lean back until they're kind of like lifted off the ground like this. And then you want to take your hands and you want to touch the floor on one side and touch the floor on the other like this. That is the standard uh, Russian twist. So uh, by doing that, you're kind of like twisting your abs, getting that motion in, and your core is tightened when you have your uh, legs off the ground. So that's a good exercise for like twisting your abs and all that stuff. So now, the next exercise I'm going to show you is ins and outs. So, like the other two exercises I've shown you already, you keep your legs off the ground, but this time you can position your, your uh, hands a little back to uh, keep you uh, stable to provide stability. You keep your legs off the ground and then you go in and out. That's why it's called an in and out. It's in the in, you take your legs in and then out and you go back in and that's one repetition. So you can do it like this. This also works your lower abs and can kind of work your legs too. Now, throughout all these exercises that I'm showing you, remember to keep your core tightened at all times and if you want to get the best out of these exercises. So now, the last exercise I'm going to show you is probably the best exercise uh, out of all these four exercises that I'm going to show you. It's called the plank. The good thing about it is that it works every aspect of your core. And if you want to work your obliques more, you can just do side plates. So, if you haven't watched my uh, push-up video, you should check it out too. So, it's almost like you know, a push-up position like this. This is considered a plank. But a standard point is keeping your forearms on the ground like this, kind of having kind of like a 90 degree angle almost uh, in your arm. You can move your elbows right at a 90 degree angle, and you want to stay in a straight position like this. You want to keep your you kind of like um, your feet, your toes like kind of like curled upwards like this. You want to stay in this position, and then just see how long you can hold it or like. Hold it for a certain period of time. You can also add weight on this, but the good thing about these exercises is that you don't need uh, any equipment at all to do these. You can just do these almost everywhere. And also, when you do it, remember to keep your hands clasped together. And then if your back's starting to hurt, kind of like raise your whole body up to make sure that you don't like kill your back or anything like that. And always keep your core tight, alright? So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching this video.